The big, tall roof spaces of old manor houses like this one make the ideal roosting site for grey long-eared bats. In fact, they're really the only structure in the UK where these bats can roost. So I've come here to see if I can spot some of these very rare flying mammals. So my guide on this bat safari is Dr. Uli Razgor. Uli, thank you very much for bringing us here this evening. Your survey work, you've been looking at this roost, but you've also been looking at this population, this species across the UK in general. So what has your work shown about this species? What we actually found, this bat is very rare. So the population is estimated at around 1,000 individuals. We also know that the population is actually declining and has declined dramatically in the past 100 years. Do we know the reasons behind that decline? The decline of the species is part of the decline of unimproved grasslands. So over 90% of unimproved grasslands have disappeared from England in the past century. And really the decline of this bat mirrored the decline of this habitat type and generally a lot of the decline of biodiversity that came along with it. So if we come back to the bats that we're looking for tonight, yeah. um, so we, it's around about half past eight, the sun's going to go down in about 25 minutes yeah, maybe? That, yeah. And we're going to be using, you, you have in your hand a bat detector, so yeah. how does this work? How is this going to help us find bats? Okay, so uh, we use the bat detector to convert the echolocation calls of bats into frequencies we can actually hear. So the bats usually call in frequencies that are not audible to us. But when we use this detector, just checking if it's on, we'll be able to hear the calls of the bats. We actually might be able to, to hear other bats foraging around here, so we might have quite a few different bat species to record tonight. Great. Well, I guess all we have to do now is wait. Yeah, and hopefully they'll come out soon. <laughs> Nice one. Oh, wow. So it's about quarter to eleven now, Ollie. I think we're gonna we're gonna call it a night, are we? Yeah, it's dark enough now. And how many, I, I lost count, how many bats did we see? Well, we counted for definite around 15 bats, uh, grey long get bats emerging. I know this is a bit slightly lower than what we usually get. However, right now the bats are probably very heavily pregnant, so they might not be emerging early. They might be waiting till it's quite late and dark. Um, but very soon the, uh, the young are going to be born and then in a few weeks time we'd expect a lot more bats to be emerging with the young flying as well. Oh wow, so we should come back in a few weeks then? Most definitely, end of August, great time to see the bats. Excellent, thank you very much. <laughs>